flight deck. You can't hear enough. You got sound protection, hear protection on you worried about. Depending on you in the Gulf, it's ridiculously hot. It's over 100 degrees. Then you got the jet blast going and you gotta always be on the lookout because when you got that many planes coming in, you got the trip wires, then you got the drills, there's always something going on. It is a constant reminder from everybody that you can always get hurt because nearly every day somebody does. And in the fall of 2001, that day came for Sailor Troy Reynolds. Deployed soon after the September 11th attacks, Reynolds was serving on board the USS Enterprise as it headed toward Afghanistan. One day, in what he describes as a freak accident, he hurt his leg and back. In an instant, his time on the flight deck of the Enterprise was over. You don't really win when you're going against a steel deck. Troy would eventually leave the Navy in 2006, at a time when his life was at a crossroads. Still dealing with the lingering effects of his injury, he now had to find a new direction for his career. Troy got his bachelor's degree in 2009 and was able to find jobs here and there. Keeping them was another matter. It was difficult because nobody really wants to work with somebody who has limitations, who can't stand certain things that when you typically see somebody my size, you want to, you I guess, want to get most of the use you can out of somebody like that. Job after job, nothing seemed to fit Troy's needs and allow him to spend the time he wanted with his six-year-old son, Tyron. But he would eventually stumble, literally, on a solution. Funny enough, uh, Wounded Warrior Project is right across the street from my previous job, and I didn't really know much about them because I was new to the area. And uh, I just happened to go over there one day, and I was intrigued by actually what I was seeing. At Wounded Warrior Project, Troy learned about programs offered to honor and empower warriors like himself. This is when he found out about the Warriors to Work program. Well, Warriors to Work, I would say, is a full-service career development program where we help warriors individually with any types of needs that they may have. Some warriors come in and, and they have uh, needs for the full gamut of services, uh, would be resume development, uh, job searching, job placement, interview skills. Our local manager of Warriors to Work made a phone call to the local Nexcom and, and developed that personal relationship with them, looked at the candidates that we had available for the jobs they had open, and of course Troy, with his experience in the Navy, uh, fit the, the HR associate position just perfectly. Troy joined the Nexcom family at NAS Jacksonville in November of 2010. We consciously took Troy on as, as kind of the, the new recruit and uh, took baby steps. Uh, didn't uh, overburden him with a lot of things to begin with. Took on one thing at a time and then built on that to the next thing. Uh, and then uh, I think we got to the point where he was comfortable with us and we were comfortable with him. And every day it's been uh, you know, adding additional responsibilities to his role. So uh, we think he's got tremendous potential. I love it because it's simple. It's simple and I'm helping people. I want to help people the way I've been helped. Troy isn't resting on his laurels. He's pursuing his master's in human resources and hopes to become a more integral member of the Nexcom family. But more importantly, he says the job that has improved his future has also allowed him to focus more on his family. My previous job, I was out maybe 8, 9, 9, 30, 10 at night. I wasn't getting a lot of time with my son, the sole purpose of me moving here. And once I got on with the Navy Exchange, I worked 7, 30 to 4 every day. The energy he saves by staying off his feet at the job, he puts to work on the football field, teaching young kids, including his own, the finer points of the gridiron. Down. Here, Troy's pain truly is his game. Well, from the injury, I didn't know how severe it would be as far as, you know, walking with a limp or anything, being able to do things like that. But what it turned into is now I'm out here coaching. I feel pain. I mean, I'm just, I, I try to push through everything. While I sit down, I got assistant coach who helped me out. More than 500 warriors nationwide take part in Warriors to Work. For those who put their heart and soul into the program, Troy represents mission accomplished. Well, we're honoring and empowering warriors by helping them with their, their new normal, their new career. Uh, we want to empower them to be able to, to uh, make enough money to pay for their kids, pay for their family, pay for their future, whatever they want to do. We think he's got tremendous potential uh, in human resources and I know he's going to school and he's doing other things to develop that and uh, we want to serve in that mentorship role to make sure that he's got the tools to succeed. I don't see an ending for this job right now by me still being new the full aspect and full scope of everything, I don't know yet. 
I know I enjoy working in human resources and, and being there to help people. So in a sense, I'm already doing it. I just want to be able to do more.